Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my week 26 update of my fitness journey and my first week of trying Pamela Reef's workouts. Oh my goodness, I just got done working out as you can see and boy was I in for a treat this week. So like normal, I'm just gonna tell you the workouts I did this week and then I'm going to go into my updates slash review, first impression of trying these new workouts and then we'll move on to the pictures. So Saturday the 11th, I did nothing. I'm kind of taking Saturdays to do YouTube stuff and TikToks, I guess. So that is my excuse, even though I don't really believe in a whole lot of excuses. That's why I tend to not work out on Saturdays. Also, I just don't like to. On Sunday the 12th, I did the full body 20 minute intense workout by Pamela Reef. Her titles aren't that different, so I will put the thumbnail so you guys can see the actual workouts and see me doing them. I also did the medium abs. I just put medium abs because that was what was in the title, but again, here is the thumbnail. And honestly, I feel like I wasn't really having the mind-body connection because I liked another ab workout of hers better than this one. And then I did the sexy arms. She had sexy in the title and it was arms and it was about 10 minutes. And here is the thumbnail so you guys can actually see me doing the workout with the actual video. Monday the 13th, I did the 15 minute HIT workout. It was um, to burn fat, that's the goal I guess. And then the 10 minute ab workout. Again, I will put the thumbnail so you guys can see because she has a lot of like 10 minute abs. So it's kind of hard to differentiate. And then I also did the 10 minute upper body uh, workout and it focuses on the back and arms and it's kind of like Chloe Ting's back fat workout. And I actually really, really like Pamela's. Um, back workout and upper body strength workout. I actually just did it today and then I did her butt workout her famous like but challenge workout and I really enjoyed that one as well. Tuesday, like normal, I do not work out. It is my day off. And then Wednesday the 15th, I did the 10 minute calorie burn workout, which is an awesome workout just to get your body pumping and everything. And if you don't have a lot of time, I really recommend this one. I think this is the same 10 minute abs that I did on Monday, but I'm not quite sure. And then Thursday, I don't work out. And then Friday the 17th, I did the 20 minute full body workout. She has a couple 20 minute full body workouts, but the one I did today, which the thumbnails on the screen is my favorite. I really enjoyed this one. It was really challenging. I also did the 10 minute calorie burn, the same one I did on Wednesday because I really enjoyed that one. And I did the upper body workout the back fat one. I just call it back fat because I just have to like associate certain names with the exercises. And then I did the butt workout. Today was my favorite day of all of the workouts I did today were probably my favorites. Um, and again, this is just my first impression, so I don't really know too much. I'm still testing like which workouts work best for me, but overall I can say probably Friday's little cocktail is my favorite so far. So I guess there's not a lot of updates to really share with you guys but um, I have been treating myself a little bit. I haven't really eaten a lot of snacky foods, but occasionally we'll go to Panera and I'll have mac and cheese, or I will have some chocolate or cookies after dinner for like dessert or something. But other than that, this week has been fairly well um, diet wise. So I guess that's pretty much it with the updates. I'm gonna get on to the review because I have quite a few things on my little list here. So first of all, I just wanted to share with you guys before I got into the review portions of Pamela Reef's workouts, you have to have strength before you do these workouts. These are not for beginners, trust me. They look easy, okay? When I was watching the videos, I was like, oh, I can do that. But you need to have some sort of strength before you go into these workouts. I feel like these workouts would be great if you were toning, if you're working on toning your body. If you're looking to like lose weight, I definitely recommend the HIIT workout and or Chloe Ting's workouts because these are definitely like strength training slash burning fat, but not as much as other workouts that I've tried. That's my honest first impression. All of these workouts that I just did are not made for beginners. Let's get on to the points. I'm gonna try to read through these pretty fast. So there's a lot of holds. So if you don't like planking or if you don't like holding one position for a long time, these aren't the workouts for you. 
I like it, it's really challenging for me, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, how was she doing this? Pamela does not give you a lot of breaks. She gives you breaks, but in between sets, I believe. So like Chloe Ting, you're gonna do like plank jets for like 30 seconds, and then you'll have like a 15 or 10 second rest. You don't get any rests with Pamela's workouts. You get one break like in the middle of each set. So after one set's done, then she says break and you get like a minute and then she goes right into the next set. But each exercise you do, you don't get a break. And I think that's why her 20 minute videos are 20 minutes because you don't get a lot of breaks. So I think it's equivalent to Chloe Ting's 30 minute workout, but I'm not sure. I'm just trying to like justify in my head. The next note I mentioned, I don't like how she repeats some of the same exercises. And maybe this is just me being a nitpicky person, but doing the Chloe Ting workouts before Pamela's, Chloe Ting never repeated exercises. And if she did, it was only like one exercise. Like she would do burpees a couple times and she would do, there would be a few exercises Chloe would do a couple times in her videos. But I've noticed that Pamela's workouts she repeats exercises and to me in my opinion that's really boring because i'm like okay i want something new because her exercises are challenging that's probably why she does it multiple times but that's just a personal preference i absolutely love her music um unlike the no copyrighted music um a lot of times people use she uses like current music and i don't know how she gets away with that copyright wise but I really enjoy her music and everything like that. Some of you asked me, have you found a good lower ab workout? I would always reply no, because I hadn't. But the 10 minute ab workout by Pamela Reef, I'll put the thumbnail so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's the one that I did three times this week. It's really good for lower abs. It's so challenging, like those jackknife things that she does. Oh my gosh, I die. Like the starfish thing where you can't put your legs down. So challenging and difficult, but I highly recommend that if you're trying to work your lower abs. So that is probably my go-to lower ab um, workout. So I have found a really good workout for your lower abs and that's by Pamela Reef. I already said this, but I love her booty workout. It's really cool. Today I used my Chloe Ting resistance band because she does some of the exercises where you can use like resistance bands, but I wish she had like a hip dips, like a side hip workout. And maybe she does, if she does tweet me or Instagram me because I haven't found it. Um, but that's pretty much it. Overall, I really enjoy her workouts. I'm gonna continue her workouts and trying new ones. Um, this upcoming week but overall that's my little review of Pamela's workouts so let's get on to the photos so on the left is Alex last week and on the right is Alex this week I don't know if you can really tell a difference but to me I feel different and I think that's because I've been using different muscles in a weird way or I've been using my muscles that I've been working out in a different way like how I was going on with the holds and everything and the different new exercises. So I don't know, my body feels a little bit different. Here is the side view of that. And as you can see, my little pouch, I mean, some people can't see it, but I mean, I see it and I feel it. I just think that's just natural and it's totally okay. And here is pre-workout Alex. So pre-workout Alex is on the left and current Alex is on the right. There's not much to say. So here is the side view of that. And yeah, so I guess that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any other questions or this inspired you to maybe try a new workout person, then give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.